This is a story I call The Garden by Opa. Joe lived in a small town. He had a big, beautiful garden where he grew a big variety of vegetables and fruits. There were tomatoes and potatoes, lettuce and zucchini, beans and peas and corn. There also were strawberries and blackberries and lots of cantaloupe and watermelon. Then one day, Joe went away to live in a retirement home. His daughter, Joan, moved from a big city to live in Joe's home. After she got moved in, she walked through the garden and was amazed how much Joe had grown in his garden by himself. Each day after she got home from work, Joan would go out to work in the garden. She started to notice some of the vegetables and fruit were missing. Then she noticed there were lots of footprints in the garden. On Saturday, when she didn't have to work and could stay home, she kept watch on the garden. She watched from her window as people came with baskets, filled them, and left. This continued all day long. She could not believe these people were treating her garden like it was theirs. So she made some signs that said, keep out. Slowly throughout the week, she noticed they had stopped coming to take her vegetables and fruit. Then one day, her doorbell rang. Opening the door, there was a young girl standing there with a basket in her hands. She introduced herself, then gave Joan the basket. It had several loaves of bread and a jar of jam. Joan thanked her for being so neighborly, and then she left. This happened several times over the next couple of weeks. They brought jars of canned zucchini, corn, and jars of strawberry and blackberry jams. Joan thanked them for being so neighborly, and then they would leave. Then one day, an older woman came to the door. She also had a basket for her. Joan thanked her and asked her if it came from her garden. The old woman looked at her surprisingly and said, no. They are from Joe's garden. Surprised, Joan said, you mean you're the one that's been taking things from the garden? The woman said, yes, but I'm not the only one. Joan was confused and asked, why do you call all come to my garden and take my vegetables and fruits? The woman said, oh my, you don't know about your father. Let me tell you about Joe. You see, Joe used to have a small garden, but it produced more than he could eat. So he went to the churches in town and told them that if any of their members needed help with food, they could come pick vegetables and fruits from his garden, free. As times got harder and more people lost their jobs, more and more people relied on Joe's garden to put food on their table during the hard times. Each year, Joe would make his garden larger. As it got bigger and more that he could handle, these people would, ha come, would help him plant and take care of it. And every season, they would all bring Joe something they had canned or made from his garden. You see, in this town, Joe is a hero. Joan wiped tears from her eyes and told the woman she had no idea her father did this. He kept it a secret. She gave the woman a hug and thanked her for telling her about Joe, and then the woman left. Now it made sense why there were people in the garden and why they were bringing her canned food and sweets. Suddenly, Joan remembered she had put up signs to keep people out of her garden. Then she got an idea. The next day, as people came by, they saw a new sign over the garden entrance. It said, Joe's Community Garden. Take what you need and leave the rest for others in need. I hope you enjoyed this story. The end. This is Opa.